This is a wide open race. Uh, tough to pick a winner in this 10th race. Should be a dandy race. And the starters are lining up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Back upstairs for the call to track announcer Vance Cameron. Not only is it blowing a gale, Kurt, we're going to throw rain into it now. And it's blowing right on our windows up here in the judges' stand announcer's booth, making visibility not the greatest. It's not going to be fun the last three on this Tuesday night. Here's the 10th race, and they're all lined up. Post time. The rough and pacing Century Invictus leaves out. Happier days are coming between horses. Joining them is Silver Spirit on the outside third. To get away fourth is Doc Darrell. Then in fifth, it's Rusty Riley. Six, St. Charles Fireball. And on the outside, seventh, that is Wild River Coyote. So it's Century Invictus for Miles Heffern and Senior. They're going to be quarter pole leading. Happier days are coming. Set up for the two-hole ride. Racing from third. That is Doc Darrell. Silver Spirit is racing fourth. Then fifth, that's Rusty Riley. Around the turn six, St. Charles Fireball and Wild River Coyote sees them all from seven. A solid beginning of 28 and two. Down the stretch they come, and the backfield's in motion now. On the front end, Century Invictus is the midway point leader. Lots of company coming. First up on the outside is Silver Spirit, second. Third up the rail, happier days are coming. Fourth on the outside is Rusty Riley. They're at the half in 57 and three. Doc Darrell at the rail is fifth. And on the outside, six is St. Charles Fireball. Wild River Coyote, seventh to three quarters. It's up next. From the outside, Silver Spirit has taken over the lead. Century Invictus second. Rusty Riley third. Happier days are coming. It's getting to the outside from fourth. Doc Darrell up the rail, fifth. One, 27 and one was the three quarters. Eighth of a mile to go in Silver Spirit. Got a sizable lead turning for home. Century Invictus second. Rusty Riley third. Way wide happier days are coming. But this one belongs to Silver Spirit and Mark Campbell, a going away winner. Century Invictus held second. Three of them are in a show photo. Excellent trip of 155 three. Well, as Vance mentioned, as they were going up and behind the gate, less than ideal conditions right now here in Charlottetown with the wind blowing and the rain uh, blowing in their face as well. But it didn't bother Silver Spirit and Campbell as they come first up on Century Invictus off that half, 57 and 3. And they're going to clear up to the lead, 127 and 1, and draw off to win easily down the stretch, 155 and 3, 28 and 2, closing quarter on a night. Uh, that's turning into a kind of a nasty night. Big trip from Silver Spirit here in race 10. And um, we'll see him back in the winner's circle with driver Mark Campbell as they dominate in the back half of this race and deliver uh, as the 7-5 to five choice.
Silver Spirit on his way to the 10th race winner's circle by pacing Galdingy's five by Baradero Hanover off the Estrellos Dam, paid in silver. Devin Wallace of Bloomfield is the owner, breeder, and the trainer. Mark Campbell's second winner on the night for the double. New record, 155 and 3. Silver Spirit and the Campbell double in the 10th.